welcome to Lift Up Powerwall, episode 6, printing 18650 battery holders. So I just finished the last of my battery holders for this pack. So now I've got the beautiful red and black, which is the positive end and the negative end of all seven packs. And I'll just talk a little bit about the battery holder that I've, that I've made. Um, so it's designed to hold um, eight pairs and of course they're all interlocking they um, interlock that way and they interlock the other way they interlock the other way so that you can stack them all up as much as you like um, I, I started off with this format because I think the square um, basic chunk is quite a good um, way to start. What I've done is I've made it six mils deep and um, there's some little flanges here that mean that when it's sitting on top it sits there but no further. There's a bit of a um, an indentation here so that if you've got um, wires or metal strips running that way um, they can stay nice and flat and also that way um, but there's a bit of a standoff these round bits are stood up proud so that um, there is room for the whole thing to be sitting uh, on some kind of base um, where and it'll be sitting on the holder not on the battery all the weight should be on the holder um, the reason i've only gone six mils wide is to reduce the print time at the moment that takes 57 minutes to print on my tiny little printerbot junior so on a faster printer it would be quicker it takes a couple of minutes to set up the printer and then you can kind of walk away for for an hour and come back and see if it's finished so it's not too painful a process and oh, I'll, I've got a link to the Thingiverse file for that if you want to copy that the other nice thing is that the batteries are effectively running in pairs this way which means you could if you really wanted to have some fans blowing in under here if you had a covering over the top then there is then there is room here and space between all the batteries for air to to flow through there there's a couple of millimeters between each cell which should give it some breathing space between cells in the situation where i'm using it which is for a power wall you're generally not dealing with high current you're more interested in running it long rather than short intense pairs so it's not like a um, remote control helicopter where you want super high power over a short time span this is you want low power over a long time span so that is the battery holders they seem to be working quite well it's a reasonably solid looking pack as you can see i've got enough cells now to do the whole thing i'm still charging and discharging measuring the capacity of a few more cells so that i can discard the lowest capacity cells and just have the best batteries in my pack but otherwise it's looking pretty good in the next episode i plan to talk a little bit about time it takes to do the various parts of the process because if you're going to do a really big pack it's worth doing some calculations and working out which parts of the process are going to take forever and which aren't, are not going to be too bad but that is for the next episode coming in a few days time for now thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment if you feel like it cheers